Conference USA, but they, they have to beat uh, the Olympic athletes from Russia to get into right. the finals to face the U.S. women right, who right. are already in the finals. That's I mean, correct. maybe you guys can do your part <laughs> to get to the finals as you're going for your fifth uh, fifth uh, uh, Olympic gold in a row. And tell you what, Mike, right? if Canada loses yeah. in the curling, I'll yeah. buy donuts. I you will. I think that's a fairly okay. That's fair. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's a fairly safe way to go. <laughs> You trying cool. to hit buttons again? It's time yeah. for Off the Top. Whether you like it or not, it's just beginning. We're going to window. Here we go. Like I said, coming off NBA All-Star Weekend, Mike LeBron James picked a winner in the NBA All-Star Game. He scored 29 points at the go-ahead lamp with 34 and a half seconds to play, winning his third All-Star Game MVP award while his hand-picked team rallied to win beating Team Stefan 148 to 140. I mean, what what a good-looking couple of uh, starting lineups. Mm -hmm. LeBron, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving for LeBron's team. Right. DeRozan, Antetokounmpo, Embiid, Harden, and Curry for Steph's team. I mean, I, I like the way they did it. And as we'll get into, it looks like they'll televise the draft next year. They really blew it with that one because nobody's feelings wanted to get hurt. Hopefully they all get over that. Yeah, they don't want like a Mr. Irrelevant. I I mean, come on. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, you made the All-Star. Hockey had so much fun with it when they did it that way for a few years. And and I think basketball go to it. They wanted a little more defense in this. So basically it was a score that when Cleveland was really bad, they got beat by, you know, like 148, 148. Yes. (laughs) Right in that area. Uh, Unlike the 180s or whatever they were in, it was a a scoring Right. record last year. I liked it. You actually saw some defense at the end as Steph Curry was right. trying to get off the game tying three pointer, but there was a little more, a little more defense in it. But I like the new format. I like the way the teams are split up. Mm-hmm. I look forward to them televising the draft uh, next year. But LeBron, there's only one other, was it one other uh, athlete in American sports history? That has been to 14 All-Star games before the age of 34, I believe it was. Wow. Wayne Gretzky. There it is. Wayne Gretzky went to four, which, which certainly is not shocking. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's a, it's a pretty nice. J.A. Yeah, turning played in NBA All-Star for the 14th time, right? Yeah. The only other one, Rain, the only other player in four uh, major North American professional sports leagues who appeared in his league's All-Star game in 14 seasons prior to turning 34 was Rain, Wayne Gretzky. So, Pretty impressive. It was the All-Star game, first All-Star game without a 30-point scorer since 2010 as LeBron led the way with 29 in this one. Like you said, some defense at the end, but, some. It, it, but it's kind of criticism in NBA games. They really D up the last six minutes yeah, of the game. We've seen a, that in the past. Yeah, well, I, right? I don't mind, a, obviously, less defense, and this is kind of a showcase game. You're going to see, I mean, early on, LeBron had a bounce pass alley-oop to <laughs> Anthony Davis. I was like, oh, my God, that was pretty impressive. So right. I, I, I think outside of the entertainment, sure. This game was good from Friday night to Saturday night to Sunday when they were doing actual basketball things. It was good. Right. When people tried to sing or anybody tried to entertain, it was a struggle, as we'll get into. I was going to say, we'll talk Fergie and the dunk contest in just a second. Off the top. 20 years after Dale Earnhardt won his only Daytona 500, Austin Dillon claimed his first 500 victory, driving the same iconic number three. Dillon led only the final lap the second straight year that the winning driver led only the final lap in the Daytona 500. Kurt Busch did so a year ago. That's incredible to me to go 500 and you can only finally take the lead in that last lap. But amazing symmetry, Mike, with the fact that Earnhardt drove that same car and the fact that, you know, so many of these big names now in NASCAR moving on. Of course, Dana back yeah, her final right, race. Right, her last she one crashed, she she crashed out of it. Yeah. But congrats um, to Austin Dill for coming up huge yeah. at the end. A lot, lot of yeah, they were talking a lot about a lot of the youngsters coming through in this one. This was uh this was an interesting one as they, they have that stage racing now. It's the first stage at sixty laps, the second stage at 120 laps. And at that first stage at sixty, even Jeff Gordon uh and and, uh, and Darrell Waltrip were, were talking about these guys are, are are acting like it's the end of the race and it got there was a big crash right you know at the end of that that first uh, stage uh second stage they backed off a little bit and then in the end you had a guy in eric Al- almarola who was leading this thing with a, when they went into the overtime right of this mm-hmm. he's leading it and he tries to block uh dylan and and dylan just <laughs> i mean ran right through him right, just what's... ran right through him and you, you get you get conflicting on Twitter of that should be uh, illegal, should be disqualified, a fine, and hey, that's racing. Yeah, that's you racing. Know, you get that's your foot, on, makes get your foot on the gas, and you just yeah. go through them. And listen, right. I, I don't watch enough of it to know, uh, but but listen, nothing happened there, and he and Dylan ends up winning this thing. But I thought I thought that Eric was going to get that win. He just goes over to try and block it, just gets gets torn 
But you, <laughs> you right through. I was like, wow. Okay. Was say, so you got a tutorial there on NASCAR. Man, I did. I, I, I said, I, I, yeah, I said, Eric Amarola, he, he blocks and then crashes. And, and I was right. He did. <laughs> I mean, all the NASCAR fans, no, he was wrecked. Yeah. He got crashed. He was right. wrecked. He didn't crash. I, right. Okay, I'm sorry. He tried to block. <laughs> Dylan ran through him, and he, and he crashed. Okay, so that was that. That's all I was trying to say. But so what an ending. But but as you said, the symmetry 17 years ago, uh, 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 for the the death of uh, of Dale Earnhardt, uh, 20 years, I believe it was 20 years when the, the that, they car, won yeah. it, that he won it. Uh, right. So uh, that was that was some interesting symm uh, 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 symmetry there. But I did watch a lot of it. It was interesting to me with the stage staging part of it. It's right. like because you do restarts after sixty and one twenty. It seemed you know for points for playoff points. It was just a, a little different for for me. I, I don't know how long that's been around, but it was just right. kind of a different way. And the way they ended that first stage, I know Jeff Gordon and Daryl Walter weren't weren't really thrilled mm -hmm. with the way that worked out. But you mentioned the wrecks. It's a big reason why so many people watch. And even I find it from a television perspective, all the onboard cameras, like it's actually a pretty good watch uh, to get into it. So obviously, and it's unique in the fact NASCAR begins their race with their Super Bowl. Dave yeah, on the 500, do, right. of course, kicks off the coverage. Austin Dillon didn't have to protect his lead for long because the only lap he led was the final one. Protecting the lead brought to you by ADT. Considering home security, consider this. For 140 years, ADT has helped stop more crime than any other home security company. Visit ADT.com to learn more. Off the top. Bubba Watson fresh off an appearance in the Celebrity All-Star Game. By the way, his wild weekend was a win in the Genesis Open for his 10th career PGA Tour win. He is the third player to win three PGA Tour events at Riviera, joining Hall of Famers Lloyd Mangrum, and Ben Hogan. Yeah, yeah, it's his first uh, win since winning this event two years ago uh, when he was a top 10 player in the world. Second left-hander uh, to win 10 PGA Tour events, joining Phil, who obviously has a little more than that, 42. He's earned $91,000 this season as Bubba Watson, Bubba, Bubba Watson entering the Genesis Open. He just added $1.296 to it. Ooh, not wow. bad. That's not bad at all. He hadn't Heidi finished paycheck. better than 35th in any of his five previous starts this season. But you mentioned he had that wild weekend, including the uh, played in the uh, uh, celebrity game on Friday. Right. He was uh, on Leno's show. He yeah, was a garage yeah. show. On and, and, and the one while he had, I think he had a couple rebounds, an assist, a, a steal. <laughs> he also got absolutely... He went for a layup, and Tracy McGrady came over and knocked his shot, I think, in about the third row. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh... Kind of Turned to feel a little too it. big for his yeah, bridges. Went, the went, went, went up on Tracy McGrady there. That didn't go so well. Off the top. College basketball. We're going to have Tom Cream with us later today. Trey Young, number 23, Oklahoma, visiting number 13, Kansas. It's big Monday, 9 Eastern tonight. Sooners have lost five straight games. Our BPI still gives them a 94% chance to make the NCAA tournament. Kansas, meanwhile, a 71% chance to win at least a share of its 14 straight Big 12 title, oh, which would break a yeah. tie for the longest such streak. You know, the road to the Big 12 always goes through Lawrence, although Texas right. Tech has been a real yeah, surprise have, this year in the Big 12. Yeah, they have Oklahoma. They already beat Kansas 85-80 uh, at the third week of January, looking to sweep the season series against the Jayhawks. Kansas has only been swept by a team three times in Big 12 history and exactly zero times under Bill Self. So wow. we'll see. Trey Young. Uh, shooting just a tick under 40% from the field in the last 15 games since conference play began. So teams have, have been certainly guarding him a little tighter in this one. Uh, that they, they they were such a story, Oklahoma, and then they certainly have lost more than a few. But yeah. going to get there. At the end of the day, it, it's been interesting, the top, the ranked teams, as you look over the last week and a half, mm -hmm. the losses that have gone on. So you, as well as Tom Crean, what, what's the team? Who Who is yeah. it? You know, how deep can we go of, of the possibility of someone winning the title? Yeah, even Trey Young's lost some steam now in the player of the year conversation. Yeah. We seem to have a lock. DeAndre Aiden for Arizona has been great. Marvin Bagley for Duke. Although right. He has been out the last few games, so there's definitely other contenders now for that crown. Off the top. The United States women, as Mike mentioned, off the top, advanced to hockey's gold medal game, a 5 nothing win over Finland. So the expected U.S. final opponent is Canada, facing the Olympic team from Russia. The other semifinal, that's about an hour from now. Canada has won four consecutive Olympic golds, beating the U.S. in three of those finals. And you ask anybody who knows anything about the Olympics or women's hockey, this is the best rivalry going. Canada, USA, it women's is, hockey. It is. As you mentioned, uh, they, they they played in um, uh, earlier. Four years ago. Or, you no, know, no, or, there's or, some, or, yeah, earlier. Yeah, uh, Canada yeah. won 2-1. That's 2-1. Right. It got a little chippy uh, yes. in that one as well, which, which isn't shocking for as much as these two teams have played for the gold. U.S. fifth gold medal game in six Olympics, only that one win uh, in 1998. And as, as Adnan said, and we'll continue to say Canada won four after that. And he'll just continue <laughs> to keep throwing that up there.
just like that. Hopefully but, they can play well enough to get to the finals. I was going to say, you never the, know. The U.S. are going to get their first. Yeah. The big news, you've got bragging rights in the line of this curling match. We're now end nine. End nine. Odds <laughs> even up. It's 5-5. Five, five, so, you know, we got... We got donuts on the line here. <laughs> Our attention will be diverted the entire show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Golik and Wingo is presented by Progressive Insurance. Our guest list for today, Michael Eaves at 7.30, Tom Crean at 8.30, and Bill Polian at 9.05. All phone guests joining us in the Shell Penzoil performance line. If you miss any of those guests, you can listen to all four hours on demand in the ESPN app. Adnan Burkin for Trey. We're Golik and Wingo on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. You alerted me to the moment perhaps of the weekend.